Imagine standing on a world where rivers of liquid methane carve through valleys of ice, where rain falls from an orange sky, and where the building blocks of life might be hiding beneath a frozen crust. This is Titan, Saturn's largest moon, a place that feels both eerily familiar and utterly alien. It's a world that has captivated scientists for decades, a cosmic puzzle that could hold clues to the origins of life, not just on Earth but across the universe. Today, we're diving into the mysteries of Titan, exploring its strange landscapes, its unique chemistry, and the groundbreaking missions that have brought us closer to understanding this distant moon. So, buckle up, grab your imaginary spacesuit, and let's journey to the outer solar system. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below as we embark on this cosmic adventure. Our story begins in 1655, when Dutch astronomer Christian Huygens peered through his telescope and spotted a massive moon orbiting Saturn. He named it Titan, a fitting title for a celestial body larger than the planet Mercury and 50% wider than our own moon. For centuries, Titan remained a distant speck, its secrets hidden by vast distances and a thick, hazy atmosphere. It wasn't until 1979 that we got our first close-up glimpse, thanks to NASA's Pioneer 11 spacecraft. As it zipped past Saturn, Pioneer 11 turned its instruments toward Titan hoping to reveal its surface. But all it saw was an impenetrable orange veil, a dense atmosphere that shrouded the moon in mystery. What Pioneer did uncover, however, was astonishing. Titan's atmosphere was rich in nitrogen, much like Earth's, and laced with methane, a hydrocarbon that's a key ingredient in the chemistry of life. This discovery sparked a question that's driven scientists ever since. Could Titan, this far-flung moon, harbor conditions suitable for life? Fast forward to 2004, when the Cassini spacecraft, a collaborative effort between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Italian Space Agency, arrived at Saturn. Equipped with advanced radar and infrared scanners, Cassini was designed to pierce Titan's hazy veil and map its surface in unprecedented detail. Over its 13-year mission, Cassini flew by Titan 127 times, each pass revealing more about this enigmatic world. What it found was nothing short of mind-blowing. Titan is the only known moon in our solar system with a substantial atmosphere, four times denser than Earth's. This thick blanket creates a reverse greenhouse effect, blocking out the sun's feeble rays, which barely reach Titan's orbit, 1.4 billion kilometers from Earth. The result? A frigid surface where temperatures plummet to minus 179 degrees Celsius, cold enough to turn methane into a liquid that rains down and pools into rivers, lakes, and seas. That's right. Titan is the only world besides Earth known to have stable bodies of liquid on its surface, but instead of water, it's methane, the same stuff we use as natural gas. To get an even closer look, the European Space Agency sent the Huygens probe, a small lander named after Titan's discoverer, to parachute through the moon's atmosphere. On January 14, 2005, Huygens began its descent, a daring plunge into the unknown. As it broke through the clouds, it captured images that stunned scientists and the world alike. The probe revealed a landscape of dark valleys flanked by bright, icy mountains carved by networks of drainage channels and streams, some hundreds of meters wide and kilometers long. These channels were etched by methane rains, flowing like rivers on Earth but carrying liquid methane instead of water. Huygens landed in a dried-up riverbed, its cameras revealing a surface scattered with rounded chunks of water ice, frozen as hard as granite, and surrounded by smaller pebbles in a muddy, snow-like material made of hydrocarbons. It was a scene that felt strangely familiar, like a frozen snapshot of an earthly riverbed, yet tinted with an alien orange glow. As Huygens' lamp warmed the surface, it even caused a tiny drop of methane dew to drip past the lens. A fleeting glimpse of Titan's active methane cycle. This brings us to one of Titan's most fascinating features, its hydrological cycle, but with a twist. On Earth, water evaporates, forms clouds, and falls as rain in a familiar rhythm driven by the sun's energy. On Titan, the process is similar, but it's methane that plays the starring role. The weak sunlight at Titan's distance means evaporation happens slowly, and the dense atmosphere can store vast amounts of methane vapor for centuries before it unleashes torrential rains. 
These rains can trigger flash floods, reshaping the landscape in dramatic bursts after long periods of drought. When Huygens landed, it missed the rainy season finding a dry riverbed instead of the liquid methane scientists had hoped for. Why does this matter? Because Titan is like a time machine, offering a glimpse into the conditions that existed on Earth billions of years ago. On our planet, hydrocarbons, water and energy from the sun or volcanic activity combined to form the first simple life forms. Titan has all these ingredients minus the warmth. Its atmosphere is a chemical factory producing complex organic molecules that rain down onto the surface. Cassini detected compounds like acetylene and benzene, which could, in theory, link up to form more complex structures. If water from the subsurface ocean mixes with these organics through volcanic activity or impacts, you've got a recipe for something extraordinary. No one's saying there are fish swimming in Titan's methane lakes, but primitive microbes? It's not impossible. The challenge is finding them, and that's where NASA's next mission comes in. But Cassini's continued observations revealed where the liquid hides. In the moon's polar regions, particularly the North Pole where vast lakes and seas shimmer under the faint sunlight. One such body, Ontario Lacus, mirrors the shape of North America's Lake Ontario, but is filled with methane, its glassy surface barely rippling with waves just 3 millimeters high. Even more impressive is Kraken Mare, a methane sea the size of Earth's Black Sea, complete with tides influenced by Saturn's gravitational pull. But Titan's wonders don't stop at its surface. Beneath its icy crust lies a hidden ocean of liquid water, kept from freezing by residual heat and ammonia, a natural antifreeze. This subsurface ocean, potentially hundreds of meters deep, sits atop a rocky core and could be a mixing ground for water and hydrocarbons. The ingredients for complex organic molecules like carbohydrates which fuel life as we know it. Titan's volcanoes add another layer of intrigue. Unlike Earth's magma-spewing peaks, Titan's volcanoes erupt with slushy mixtures of water and ammonia, a process called cryovolcanism. These eruptions could bring water and hydrocarbons together, creating environments where primitive life might form. While we're not saying Titan is teeming with aliens, the presence of these ingredients, nitrogen, methane, water, and energy, makes it a prime candidate for studying prebiotic chemistry, the kind that might have sparked life on early Earth. Let's address a common misconception. Titan is not a warm, Earth-like paradise waiting for human settlers. Its bone-chilling temperatures and methane-based environment make it inhospitable to life as we know it. The oxygen in its water ice is locked away, frozen solid, and the surface lacks the liquid water and stable conditions needed for human survival. Yet, Titan's unique conditions make it a natural laboratory for understanding the chemistry of life. Scientists like Dr. Sarah Hurst at Johns Hopkins University have studied Titan's atmosphere in lab experiments, recreating its complex organic compounds to learn how they might form the precursors to life. These experiments, backed by data from Cassini and Huygens, show that Titan's atmosphere produces tholins, complex organic molecules that give the moon its orange hue and could be stepping stones to more advanced chemistry. The discoveries from Cassini and Huygens have fueled NASA's next ambitious mission, Dragonfly, a nuclear-powered rotorcraft set to launch in 2028 and arrive at Titan in 2034. Unlike previous missions, Dragonfly will be a flying explorer, hopping across Titan's surface to sample its diverse terrains. With a mobile laboratory on board, it will analyze the moon's chemistry, searching for signs of prebiotic molecules or even primitive microbial life. Dragonfly's ability to fly is a game-changer. Thanks to Titan's low gravity and dense atmosphere, a rotorcraft can soar like a bird, covering vast distances to study everything from dry riverbeds to methane lakes. This mission, costing hundreds of millions of dollars, represents NASA's commitment to unlocking Titan's secrets and answering one of humanity's biggest questions. Are we alone in the universe? As we look to the future, Titan stands as a testament to the wonders of our solar system. It's a world where methane rains sculpt icy landscapes, where hidden oceans might hold the seeds of life, and where each discovery challenges what we believe is possible. From Huygens' first glimpse of Titan's surface to Dragonfly's upcoming exploration, this moon has transformed from a distant speck to a cornerstone of astrobiology. Its story is one of human curiosity, ingenuity, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge.
So, what do you think? Could Titan hold the key to understanding life's origins? Share your thoughts in the comments, and if you enjoyed this journey, hit that like button and subscribe for more cosmic adventures. Titan reminds us that the universe is full of surprises, and with each mission, we're one step closer to unraveling its greatest mysteries.